fans, what's going on? But before we get to you, I got to say hello to my fellow friends, the Michigan State Spartans. How you doing, Michigan State fans, MSU fans? I know it's a lot of y'all. A lot of y'all that's Pistons fans that watch my content. Well, that was a hell of a game tonight. Big Ten champs. Go blue. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to rub it in. I'm not going to let it burn a little bit. I'm going to say, I'm going to tell I am going to say one thing. Mike Valeni, shove it. Shove it. You argued and did all that arguing and smack talking about Howard taking over this team. Big Ten champs. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. So, uh, man, more content coming for that tomorrow. Michigan content. We're going to get down and break down the details of that game. And um, we, we we definitely going to be talking some real Michigan basketball tomorrow. Um, I got that and some Detroit Lions content coming up tomorrow. So, um, office is under construction right now on the opposite side of the room. So, you know, I, I like I said, I, I've been kind of busy with this thing here, that thing there. And around this house, man. So, um, got that all coming up tomorrow. Definitely, that's a for sure, for sure. Um, but let's get to the Pistons. Pistons versus Knicks, man. Kind of smelt it coming because, you know, you play like you did last night and then you have to jump on the plane and you got to go to uh, to New York. Um, I knew those legs was going to be dead and boy, were they dead. Um Grandpa Ellington looked like Grandpa again today. He came back down to earth. <laughs> the legs, he had jet lag, jet, jet lag in them legs, man. Him and Sadiq Bay. Uh, they just couldn't hit nothing today. Just that, it just wasn't happening, man. The same league was all over the place. I don't know where he was at today. Uh, but that's what you're going to get out of rookies. Um, you're going to have his ups and downs. So, you know, like I said, them, they just didn't have the energy tonight, man. It was a few times Isaiah Stewart didn't even go for the for the block he just was like man forget it <laughs> you know what I'm saying because I got I got Nerlin on my back I got Randall on my front like I said we have no power forward help whatsoever man um even with Jeremy Grant he's not a power forward man so uh like I said that's something that the Pistons really need to uh be looking forward to is is getting a, a legit power forward man uh or at least a nice size forward uh, that can, you know, give some, supply some help down there, especially on the defensive end. Like I said, Isaiah uh, Stewart gets, um, he gets tired, man. You know what I'm saying? That that motor is constantly running. So, you know, you, you saw it today. And like I said, to take that trip like they did after they played like they did last night, uh, kind of expected. Definitely expected them to lose this game. The Knicks is trying to fight themselves so, uh, back into that playoff, uh, that over, over the, not playoff, the over the 500 mark. Um, and the Pistons just didn't have the gas tonight. They didn't have the gas tonight. It, it just, it's just that, man. Magruder played well. Uh, Sekou shot the ball well tonight. Missed a few defensive assignments, but I ain't going to pick at the young man. I, I swear I felt like he watched the video <laughs> because he was aggressive. He was a little a bit aggressive. He was a little aggressive last game. Um, but, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Ups and downs with these guys, man. Most definitely ups and downs. And we have a totally young team, but, you know, our team was obviously missing two punches, two of the top punches on the team. Actually, the two leading scorers, scorers on the team, if I'm not correct. Yeah, yeah, I think the two leading scorers on the team, y'all will tell me if I'm, I'm not correct. Uh, this, I haven't looked at the averages this week, so we'll see. We'll definitely see, man. But the Pistons get, you know, get, the, get some rest, man, and, like I said, after that performance last night, you you can I'll take this. I definitely take this. I mean, it's not like we in the game of wins and losses right now. Uh, the effort was still there. They still fought at the end of the game. That's what they're gonna do. Pistons are not gonna go away easy. I don't care who you are, man. Um, that's all I needed to see, to be honest. You know, the, the legs just weren't there tonight. The, the shots just wasn't dropping today. You know, people did. We just couldn't hit shots. Simple as that, man. Um, jet lag all day on them legs. <laughs> I ain't making no excuse for them, but I'm just being factual, man. It's not easy to do. So, on a back-to-back -back night. So, uh, yeah. Not really much else to say. But! 
We can talk about some Michigan, though. <laughs> Beat the snot out of MSU. Y'all thought y'all was sliding. Y'all ain't sliding. Y'all are not sliding, man. To see Juwan Howard, man, and all them young players crowd around him and, um, you know, embrace him and so happy and, you know, it's been it's been a while, you know what I'm saying? It's been a while since I, I've been that excited, man, because like I said, just the personal relationship with Jawan Howard as a youth, um, it just made me that much more excited. That's why I was so upset with Mike Bellini about it, uh, what he was saying about Jawan Howard, because you know nothing about Jawan Howard. Um, you know, since I was barely tall enough to stand up and play uh, the Pac-Man video game in a barbershop, man, I, I knew that man. You know, so it, it's, listen, it's, it's, it was a little bit personal for me. Um, but to see him, you know, had that type of success, man, we all knew that he was a brilliant mind. Um, and they're only going to get better. You know what I'm saying? The, re the crew, the recruiting is not going to stop. Um, just to bring that championship pedigree is just, it's excellent, man. It's an excellent thing to watch. And um, I can't wait, and, you know, these, these future, uh, these these next couple of years, man, it's going to be real fun. It's going to be real fun. These teams are going to start back building in Detroit, man. We know the Tigers and Red Wings are building. We know the Pistons are building. Question still out about the Lions, but, uh, you know, Michigan basketball, uh, Michigan State, they're going to recover. They're going to recover as much as I, you know, they, they're going to recover. So, like I said, we suffering right now. But things are going to get better. Things are going to get better, man. You know, we rebuild in city right now. We're entitled to that. You know, we it was playoffs in the D, you know, here in Michigan for a long time. We're entitled to have our time off, man. A lot of these fringe fans, you know, like to run and, and talk all this, this crap, man, about these teams, dude. And, and it's like, man, can they get a break? You know what I'm saying? If anybody is there to break, it was Red Wings. Um, but you know it was coming eventually. And it's just it's just ironic that we're doing it all at the same time. We're doing it all at the same time. So, you know, to see, you know, the resurgence of some of these franchises, man, and, you know, see the direction that they're going is the right direction. Some of the franchises, most of the franchises, still question mark on one of them. But, um, yeah. That's just exciting in itself, man. So, not like I said, not really much more I can talk about as far as the Pistons, man. And um, you know that that's pretty much that. Um, you know, we move on to the next game there and see who we have available next game. See if we can get some Josh, some Josh Jackson and Jeremy Grant back, <laughs> and uh, see what the Pistons do, man. That's all I got for y'all. I got work to do. Peace.